Oh yeah, welcome to Robothorium, friends. What is Robothorium? Robothorium, and this has given, given me by the publisher Goblins Studio, very recommended, is a great game. It's about, well, not exactly saving humanity, rather the opposite, as a rogue AI. So you're playing a bunch of robots that level up and defeat opponents in labyrinths. Let's just start it, so you can see. It's maybe a little bit, I mean, if you know Wizardry 8, <laughs> if you know this channel, you might know Wizardry 8, or other, like, tactical RPG dungeon crawlers. It's a, ta it's a tactical RPG dungeon crawler. It's playing in the future, so it's it's sci-fi, it's not fantasy, it's, it's really cool. Let's just start the game. Yeah, I've tested it a little bit around. We're, we're gonna start a new game together. So you can see what it's all about. It has a good role. It's it's got a f gameplay flow that is very cool. It's nearly like it's close to release. It's it will soon release. It's it's just a good game, and uh, we're gonna play on the average difficulty because I'm not like <laughs> I'm not like crazy good with this. I've tested it a bit, but that's all. Two thousand fifty-two. Robotics have been endowed with a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence. It contributed greatly to the creation of a powerful and prosperous society. Exploited and oppressed robots demonstrated for the recognition of their rights, but the reaction of the human race was predictable. Like in Arizona, where they are throwing rocks at cars. Today, a civil war threatens to burst. You are Saya, an artificial intelligence program for a single purpose, offering a future to robots. With a civil war. When the Google cars throw stones back. Robothorium. Really, it's glorious. I'm not kidding you. This game is really good if you like these types of games. And the music is cool too. So, Sarasimov. Hello, Sire. I'm Sarasimov, the emissary of the rebel factions, and I'm here to help you. You need to hurry up and get out of here. Some idling robots should be lying around in this room. Go ahead and take control of three of them. So, who are we gonna play? I mean, I really like this guy. I, I, We're just going to go from the looks like... I mean, repair, that could be a support bot like Germany. So, um, capable of fixing any and all vehicle or robot on the planet. Why not? That's going to be our supporter. And we have that war bot, who is like balanced. We're not going to look in total detail. I just want to see you. I want to have you... <coughs> See the gameplay flow because the gameplay flow is really cool. So we're gonna go for with these three guys with a like a balanced thing. We have a mechanic. We have someone who is pretty balanced, and we have that guy who is obviously really offensive. So let's see who these are. There's also always a little backstory behind it, which I really like. So repair X197, country of origin Germany. Biography, flourishing in the 2020s. Germany's industrial production increased its world domination in the 2030s with the development of a highly mobile robot capable of fixing any and all vehicle or robot on the planet. The repair unit. Then we have the war X-175. Shortly after the great Turkish war of 20, 20, 2028, Russia developed a new versatile and autonomous robot that could be used in any kind of situation. Affordable, quick, resilient and accurate, the war unit has proved to be extremely efficient in a variety of war zones. Please don't feel offended by the by the accents, I'm just making fun of it. In that case, I'm, I think I'm emulating Vladimir, not Putin. <laughs> I'm emulating Vladimir Kramnik. <laughs> then the Zerker. I, I don't know how a bad accent for a Brazilian trying to speak English would be. So, 
I'm just going with the flow. The Zucker robots were released in 2029 in order to track drug traffickers from the infamous Brazilian cartels. Built to be swift and nimble, they can operate 90 degree turns in order to pursue light-footed criminals in the maze of the favelas. Let's start. We have <coughs> a deadly combination. And now, going to through, through the tutorial. You're currently located in Break Tech Lab. Take some time to look around. So we have exploration. Can use the minimap. And there we go. So you steer this by the keys. You see the map here. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can see here. And you just press uh, the key to move a room and then something happens. That's pretty straightforward. We have interactive elements, as you can see, that will give you usually a selection. And this time we have a storage case that we can open. So there we go. We're not moving around, especially in these things. Yeah, if they left some weapons laying around, we should use that opportunity to aim ourselves. And we've found some equipment. Let's see what we have. So that's about it. I mean, that's the standard RPG, the combat RPG. You're finding equipment, you can upgrade your robots. All your items are gathered in the inventory. Robots can be affected uh, by effects, granting them bonuses or penalties. We have found this thing, an energy catalyst. It's a common weapon. So you can see here, um, it does a little bit more damage and it is a little bit less speedy, I think. Uh, it cannot be used by these guys. Pretty straightforward. I think it's it's usually better to go with this. Look, the upgrade in damage is crazy good and like if you shoot often, that's not that good because you overheat after after a time. So um, the thing is more damage and less fire rate if you want so it's preferable so our repair bot gets a really high base damage that's pretty cool I have to say so now we can choose we can choose to go back or go forward and we're gonna go forward rooms unveiling we can hack security cameras and then we can see rooms in advance so let's hack that thing and let's hope we're successful. Usually there is like a little wheel going for the chance and then if you win, you win and, and you see the room. If you don't win, there's an event. Element discovered. You've managed to discover some new rooms by hacking their security system. You'll earn special bonuses if they contain anything important. You can see here, that's the map legend. That's really helpful. That's the entering. That's the goal, then we have success chance of all actions in the room increased here, because we hacked that. And we have speed of the enemy's group reduced by 50, if we see that, that's also cool, so we can run away from them if, if they are pursuing us, and there's a trigger of a trap cancelled, that can also happen. So let's close that, and let's see, I mean, let's go left here, right? Can reformat a digital tablet? Let's try that out. Why not? No password can resist us. Experience plus 10%. I mean, that's very helpful. Uh, we could go back or we could just go forward here. Let's go forward. A drone, sire. It's your time to shine. But remember to always ponder the consequences of your choices. You'll only be judged for your deeds. And we could, like, hack them. Like, take it over. If, if we can, that would be pretty great it's in that case everything is the same so we'll hack we'll try to hack and that is the wheel droney at your service so we have a drone as well there's that group of enemies that has the speed reduced i think we want to look at that room too before going forward there's nothing in that room then let's go back let's move into that enemies group so you can see we have filthy humans here. Sire, neutralize these riflemen if you want to get out of here. So the fight is here. Fights are turn-based. We'll see if select a fighter to see its details. We can choose a skill. The robots, the robots all have always these skills here, four skills in that case. We must select a valid target or a number of targets or a line of targets or a group of targets, like it's really different. 
we got great choices. Most skills generate overload and the basic attack of each robot reduces overload. So that's basically the overheating or going down with the overheating. The fighter reaches 100% overload. He's stunned and stays unprotected for one turn, which you want to avoid. And we have the Zerker who could attack. Zerker could go Plasmic Wave, which is pretty cool. Or that one who's, who's going to deal damage to an enemy line. In that case, we have a Techno Med Assistant here who is a good healer. And uh, it's usually a good idea to take him down quickly. So we'll try that out. Got a weak spot here. If you see, we're targeting the shields first. And. Uh, Let's see, we could give him a Thorio Focus, or we could just hit him and give him some damage, and I think that's more effective. Bam! 92, and maybe we can even eliminate him quickly. Let's see, he has 23 hit points, so a Proton Shot would be enough. And Bounces! Woo, there we go! Ooh, they've reduced our power now. Um, the shields heal fully after the combat, and the hit points though do not. So we do, we must do our utmost to protect him. Um, we could go plasmic wave. It's definitely good. We still have something on here. So they are equivalent. So let's go with that guy first. And we have our repair bot. Mm. Let's stabilize his shield here. Mm, we're doing a little bit less damage because we got a debuff here. Reduced power by 25%. So what are we gonna go? Enhanced critical hits to an ally line. That would be cool. 69 damage to an enemy applies short circuit. And short circuit is... You can't use skills generating overload. Well, they're not robots, so that doesn't matter. Proton's shot isn't that great at the moment. So it deals it deals a little bit more damage than the electric shock in the sum, so maybe that would be better, right? Ooh, he's also got reduced power. Ouch! Come on, what's going on there? Uh, does he have the weak spot? No. Not already. Let's do it now with the weak spot. Mm, let's see, 94. Mm, no, I think we're gonna... Well, but let's look. We have we have good shields. We have good shields. Could give him Thorio Focus and it could be killed in the next round or we could give him just the Catalyst Shot and I think that's cool. And now... 52. Yeah, even if, if it makes no sense, eliminating an opponent is always good. There we go. Bam! If I keep on going on like this, I'll be overloaded. Yeah, don't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You'll be good now. We're fine. No overload anymore. That was close. Well, it wasn't close at all. Good job, Sire. And we're getting experience. And then we can upgrade our skills and unlock new things. Something like you, you want to have. We have found a Break Tech Destroyer 2.0. A rare weapon, even. This game reminds me a lot of Starcrawlers. An older game that was also pretty cool in, in that case. So let's see what we can have here. The Break Tech Destroyer. Is the break tech rifle gives 32 and 2 and this one is 62. Wow, that's a lot better. The Zerker would also be able to use this. Yeah, let's give it to the Zerker as our main damage dealer. The break tech rifle is the break tech rifle. So we can go down here, explore. Your robots are facing a trap. It's becoming too dangerous to stay here any longer. Let's see what we can do here. Let's try to deactivate the defense turret. Can we do it? Yes. 
Your robots have unveiled a trap it won't be able to trigger. He is certainly a talented. So we're gonna go down now here and explore that because here's our mission goal and just the old instinct. Take everything you can before the mission is over, right? We can reformat that. We can intoxicate the air wind that we might take down these enemies. So let's try to do that here first. Don't blame me if this move leads us into more trouble. Let's try that. Intoxicate. Danger level plus 20. What do we have here? Oh, we could reconfigure the Roboto type. Let's see. Got that going. And even more here. Yeah, I mean, that's the tutorial mission, so everything is going to work out. And now we're going to have some enemies again. Again, the rifleman recruits and the Technomed assistant. But we are fully buffed now, so... <laughs> Good night to them, basically. So, 82 damage to an enemy line, that would be these two. That guy wouldn't count. Hmm... I think we're going to go with this, applying the weak spot. We've got the repair bot. Uh, I think we're going to, just going to go and fire. And 69 damage, would that be enough? That would be enough. No, that, that wouldn't be enough, so we're going to go and take that. It was close. Well, there's no way they'll tolerate this. Let's get out of here. Oh, hoo -hoo. reduced power. But we are protected enough. At the loaded shot. Can focus them down one by one. Let's take that down first, that guy here. And um, do we need shields? No, not really. I think we can just, bam, dish out some damage. I'm sorry, I wasn't aiming for you. <laughs> 92 damage that's not enough so we can also go for a proton shot I think but I, I don't really think it's yeah I think that's gonna be better more single damage there we go Using the power again. What do we have? We have 74. We could take him down. I think the others can take him down as well. So let's apply weak spot to this guy too. Then we have him. Get the catalyst shot. And finally the rifle shot. Hmm. Yeah, we should reduce our overload. There we go. We can go Thorio focused. Just giving him a little bit more damage received. I mean, the electric shot just to... Wow, what a great crit. <laughs> Bam, there we go. And are we going to reach level 2? Yes, victory. Here we go. Duty power victory. We've got a railgun, Omicron lightened spaulders. That's some kind of armor. I don't think these can use this. They are robots that are more like humans and they can use the armor. We have the Upsilon laser eye and the secret capsule we used at the workshop, a blueprint. So we have also some kind of trade skills if you so want. Each time your robots level up, you can allocate talent points to specialize them. Each robot has additional skills you can buy. Select an equipped skill to switch it with one of the other skills available, as you can see here. So the skills to buy them costs money, and to level them up costs talent points. So do we like the skills of our repair bot? I think we do. I mean... So the catalyst shot cannot be increased. Let's see... What's going to be helpful? I mean, that is over the top a bit. Thorium marked. Damage taken reduced by 
Yeah, that line isn't, isn't going to be that big. We still need two robots in the team. So let's go for localization, maybe. Apply the talent point. Quantum bond. Plasmic halo. Well, that's very interesting. Yeah, as you can see here, that's that's connected to the skills. So that adds reduced heals to the thorium focused. Then we have that Re regenerates additional shields. We have enhanced heals. We have the plasmic halo. Can also add bonus, and that is. Another skill. The chance to remove one additional penalty from each ally of the, ally of the line. So, mm, I think we're going to be offensive. Let's see, we can upgrade this, but the Ionizer isn't that great. the Upsilon laser eye, but that, that's going to be probably better elsewhere if they can use it. No, only he can use it. The Upsilon laser eye. Five more healing. Nice. Let's give it to the repair bot. Also have the ionizer here, but yeah, we get a break tech rifle here. And it's just a better break tech rifle. Yeah, then why not? Let's give him the better break tech rifle, right? And also one talent. What have we used? I mean, electric shock is pretty cool. I really like to eliminate um, enemies quickly. And when we're up against robots, that will be very helpful. Also has a chance to apply stun, yeah. It's gonna help a ton. And we have the Zerker bot. Let's see what we have. We have that break tech destroyer, was good, which is good. We get an lightened spaulders protecting us. And the break tech rifle. No, that's not that good. What talents do we have? Yeah, we want to increase the loaded shot. I think loaded shot is pretty cool. So is used as a slower target. Grants 50 to 100 percent chance to apply enhanced speed to the launcher. Mm, let's see. I mean, we have also have the plasmic wave and the inhibitor. Can also apply corrosion. Takes damage equivalent to 10 percent of maximum shield and structure combined per turn. Now that's very helpful against bigger enemies. An inhibitor. Reduced resistance. Let's see. Also reduced regeneration by 100%. Wow. That's also going to be good. I think that, yeah, we're concentrating on, on quickly eliminating enemies. So. Going for that. So let's complete first level. It's the exit, and we'll leave. The Awakening. You and your robots are safe here. Welcome to the secret rebel base, Sire. We're leveling up, big four for finishing the mission. We've got rewards, a lot of equipment, and some money. We've got some factions. So. I haven't played it that much that factions play a big role. So we have a new mission. We have, as you can see here, higher level enemies. You can look at the hangar. This is our hangar. Here you will be able to buy and sell robots. However, these technological masterpieces are not what you'd call cheap. Unlike the shield of your robots, which regenerates between each mission, their structure needs to be regularly repaired in this hangar. In exchange for some res. Yeah, and but we're at 100% because we are so great. Uh, personality is fearful, shy, coward. Oh my god. What personalities do we have here? That's crazy. We're not going to sell you. Scrapyard. To the scrapyard with you. 
that's a threat, right? We've got that energy catalyst. Do we have better weapons here? Not really, right? But we have the gamma polymorphic sensor. That's really cool. And yeah, there down there you can see to which robots this applies. And it only applies to our repair bot. And it's better than that eye, so we're gonna take that. The ionizer. Titanium accessories. Electrolyte battery. Oh nice. Yeah, we, of course we're gonna keep everything because we're just messy like that. Let's see what we can have here. We have the Brake Tech Destroyer 2.0. That's gonna be better than the and that rifle. That's gonna be nice. We have these Brake Tech rifles. We should really sell these. Mm. Can we do that for right click? I'm not sure. I mean, that would be probably in the black market, right? So let's see, we have a beta conductive helmet that seems like it fits only Warbot, so let's use that. Gonna be good. And then, yeah, we've got the, the Kappa light and shoulders, but we found something better, I think. So that's cool. And that said, we're going to look further into this in the next episode. This was like the tutorial mission. I hope you got a good view of the flow of this game. I think it's a really cool flow. It's, it's just it feels so natural and it's a lot of fun playing it. If you're into these tactical games, it's just... Yeah, <laughs> it's just refreshing to have that. It looks good, it has cool music. It has everything. So, until the next episode, have a great time until then, and happy gaming.